Today's lure is going to be a small, medium-depth crankbait from Sugar Tit Custom Lures. I've been using Sugar Tit blanks for as long as I've been doing the hobby, which is a year now, and uh, I find them well-priced and a uh, great selection. So if you're new to the hobby or you've been doing this for a while, I, I recommend them at SugarTitCustomLures.com. I'm going to do a few layers of this pearl copper to make sure it's nice and rich on the lure. For the detail orange, I'm going to go over the back and down the shoulders a little bit to blend it into the pearl copper. I made a fin stencil out of some cardstock. I cut out another stencil out of some cardstock for the gill plate, and I'm going to go over that with the shading gray. I don't show it in this video, but I move the stencil in just a little bit to add another dimension to the gill plate. I do this two times per side. With the opaque black, I add a thin stripe down the back. I'm careful not to bleed it down into the sides too much. To add some detail to the fins, I mix a little bit of detail orange with a tiny, tiny bit of opaque black.
I mix and apply the epoxy clear coat. The lure will spin for three hours and then dry for 24 hours. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.